Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day of Seamus. If you've not watched my other Seamus videos this month, um, you know, go ahead and take a watch. It's just fun. It's awesome. If you're bored, if you need something to do during this month, I've got you covered every single day with another new video. So pretty exciting stuff. Today we're going to be doing a little cozy, just like sweater weather makeup. Like smoky and glam gorgeousness, but a cozy, like a softer look to it. You know what I mean? Not so harsh, no harsh liner, just soft, cozy, sweater weather makeup. I love it. I'm stoked. I'm excited. Let's begin. We are going to start first with blush, a little cream blush. Get our cheeks nice and rosy, top our foundation on top of it, and it just, you know, you look a little frostbitten, a little cold cheekies or warm cheekies. This is Rare Beauty's Nearly Mauve Cream Blush. Taking that with my finger. And now this might look a little nuts, but we're gonna load it up. Load it up. And then when you put your foundation over it, it just looks so natural, like it's laying right, you know, like it's your real cheek flush. And I love that. And I love this technique and I hardly do it anymore. And I don't know why, because I always love my blush the most when I do this type of technique. And you gotta love a Rare Beauty blush. They are so good, so pigmented. <laughs> I look crazy. My nails today are Lights Lacquer, How You Doing? from the Friends Collection. I love this berry, I thought it was perfect. And my ring is from the thrift store. Just like that, it's up to you how deep you wanna go. You can always add more if you take too much away with the foundation. And I like a little on the nose as well. And that's it, that's it for my tutorial. No, I'm kidding. Next up, let's grab our foundation. I want a lighter coverage today because I just wanna look more natural, really. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I love this stuff, but we're going to add a dollop of the Auric uh, Glow Lust by Sam. So I'm taking one drop of this, shaking up my Easy Drops, a dollop of that. Love the Easy Drops, such good coverage. Mixing that up with my brush. This is the Sigma Curved Kabuki F83 brush. And let's go in. So how's December treating you guys so far? Mine's pretty chill. Okay, now I'll take it over the blush and I try not to apply too much product directly on top, but just enough to give you that coverage and that the blush still pokes through. And you can see it just, you just, you look so healthfully flushed from within. Does that make sense? Almost like you're genuinely blushing and I think that's so cute. And the glow lust, I need to stop neglecting. I love it. I love how that blush looks underneath. It's so cute. I want even more festive glow. I am taking ColourPop's liquid highlighter in the shade Champagne Bubbles. Let's do it up. Tis the season. Oh my God, that was so much. I love how I say do it up and then I like way overdo it. <laughs> I'm still doing this on top of um, my wet foundation and everything else because I like I, I don't like putting liquids on top of powders. I see people do it and they look amazing. It's just not for me. I like to really melt it in with my foundation. Put way too much on my face. So now I'm just trying to blend it in everywhere. And this is a perfect reason as to why to still do your liquids with wet foundation. Cute! Dang it, I feel like I lost a little of my blush with that over application of highlighter. So I'm taking a little of that blush on a brush and just lightly dabbing it on. It would have been perfect had I not goofed up with the highlighter. Okay, got my blush back. Now, let's pop on some concealer. I'm just going to use my good old faithful NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I use the shade Madeline. I believe it's light 2.3, 2.3. And this stuff is so thick and creamy. I like to just apply it with my finger instead of a brush. When you physically feel it with your fingers, I feel like you know when something is too much or too little. With a brush, sometimes I don't know and I just like way overdo it. I'm not going for like the most perfect flawless under eye. You know, this is supposed to be cozy makeup, even though I do have a lot of layers on. So it doesn't have to be perfectly corrected under the eyes. I don't mind if you see a little bit of circle. After all, we're still human, you know? <laughs> a face is a face. Sometimes you're tired. Sometimes you have dark circles. Ugh. These off the shoulder sweaters are so fun until you're pulling them off your shoulder all day. That's not so fun. Okay, next I'm gonna just set the under eyes right away before I crease too much. I'm using a powder from a brand that I do not currently support. That's why I'm not saying the name, but you can see what it is. The problem is I had it and I don't want to waste. I don't want to just toss it just because, you know, right now currently not supporting them due to their lack of inclusion with makeup products. So rather than tossing it away, filling up our landfills more, I'm using products that I have um, even if I don't support them. So 
and it's literally just a translucent powder. It's no different than any other translucent powder. I don't want to waste. I've been letting so much makeup sit because I choose not to support the brands anymore. And then I'm like, well, that's not very good either. Okay, we're going to get back to the face, but I want to move to the eyes. We'll get back to the face later. Oh my God, I think I just spilled a foundation on my rug. <gasps> Oh, thank God I didn't. Okay, first up, I want to go into the shade. Ooh, let's do Purity. And we're going to warm up that crease. I love this palette. I've been keeping it on my desk. I love the warm browns in it, but I also love the pops of color. I don't know. It was one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop over the past year, and I feel like a lot of people did not care for it, but I loved it pretty much, minus a black shadow. It pretty much had everything I like. And this is such a gorgeous little transition color. Oof, I love it. I have a major... ColourPop declutter video coming up. Now I want to take a little bit of, um, I wanted a matte creamy shade. Dang it. Is Rocker going to be too? Yeah, Rocker's going to be way too warm. Dang it. I'm just going to jump into the uh, Natasha Denona Retro Palette and take a little bit of this creamy matte here. Barely need anything, but I just wanted a little highlight on that brow bone just to clean it up and make it look nice and blend out that transition a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now I want to go into craft. No, let's go into peace out. Peace out. I did want it warmer. I didn't want it too red. Maybe I'll dip into peace out and craft. I don't know. <laughs> and pop that in that outer V and into the crease. Actually, yeah, I think craft was a good choice because the other one just looked a little too orangey based. And I just wanted a good teddy bear brown. Just like so. Over to the front there. Gosh, it is such a pretty brown. I don't do enough just good old neutral smoky eyes. Mine always seem to have like a burgundy tone to it or a red tone, or it'll be a specific color like a purple or a blue. And I know, I know it's kind of boring, but gosh, there's something just so beautiful about just a nice neutral brown smoky eye. I guess that's why I think it's super cozy and fits the cozy theme of this video. Okay, now I want to take Rocker, this guy right here. Ooh, I love an all matte look. And I'm just softly popping that on the inner half of the eye. This is a pretty standard look. I just love the cozy tones. Yeah, just like that. Same thing over here. And then I lost a little bit of that brown, so I'm taking a little bit more of Craft, same brush we were using, and just going over that crease one more time. Because I like that definition and you pop that lighter color over it, it can kind of get a little ashy, it gets a little gray. And yeah, I like it like that. Okay, let's do some tight lining and some little lash line lining. <laughs> Better handheld mirror. Where do all my handheld mirrors go? I have tons. This is ugh, my favorite brown eyeliner of all time. Marc Jacobs. Uh, oh, this isn't it. <laughs> this is another one I really like. This is brownie. My favorite one of all time is Earthquake. You guys, I've talked about it a million times. I'm sure you're familiar. Brownie's good too, a nice chocolate brown. Earthquake's a little more espresso. And I'm lining under there, and then I'm gonna smudge a bit with my finger. Trying to get not too carried away, but that's kind of what I do. Also, these liners are so malleable, they're so nice. I think they're Kajal liners, or maybe a gel formula, but they are so good, so easy to blend, and so pigmented. Definitely worth the splurge. They're so good, oh my god. I hope they still make them. I didn't just talk them up and they don't even make them anymore. That would break my heart because they are my favorite. And then I'm doing a little on the lash line as well, really just on this outer little corner. And then I'm gonna take a little brush and smudge it in. If I do it with my finger, I might get carried away. So just cause I want this a little tighter, I'm gonna use a brush. So pretty. And then on top of that lash line, I want to take finest and just smoke that right over that liner just to set it in and then also just give a little a little more fluff to the lash line like that. And I'll take a little bit into the crease as I do this since it's kind of a different tone. And Craft, it's a little warmer. I adore this eye makeup. It's exactly what I wanted. It's so warm and cozy and it's like bold yet soft. I love it. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm gonna apply some Bad Gal Bang and I'll be right back. Okay, mascara is on. I wanna take a little bronzer. Oh my God. I'm gonna take my Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzer. This is shade number two. And what brush should we use? Let's take the Sigma F85 and just get some nice soft, soft bronze. 
Woo! That's more bronzer than I thought was. It looked like none was coming up, but a lot was coming up. So I'll take some over here as well. Just re redistribute amongst the face and work that into the cheek. I didn't want a crazy contour or anything, but just a little warmth and a little on the forehead, just like so. Can you tell I was trying to figure out what lip liner to use? They're all over my hand. That's perfect. Now for lips, I'm gonna take the Kylie Jenner lip liner in the shade Iced Latte. I wanted something pretty neutral and I think this is pretty good. And then I'm filling in with ColourPop Cool BFF. Is that what it is? Yes, Cool BFF, right in the center. On top of that, I am taking Huda Beauty's Staycation Lipstick. I've never used this shade, but it looks like perfect for what I'm going for. And then on top of that, I am taking Charlotte Tilbury's Opal Magic Lip Gloss. Bring a little life back. You know what, I think this lip needs a little more color. I don't love this, hold on. I like it, but the eyes are showing up a little more rosy than this this kind of tan lip. I love the lip, I don't think it's right for this. I'm leaving the liner on and let's take that blush we were using. Um, Let's take some of the Rare Beauty Nearly Moth blush and just press that in. Yeah, it needed, it needed a little bit more of something. That looks so much better. Same gloss, I needed more warmth. So much better this way. Okay guys, that is it for this cozy little sweater weather themed inspired makeup. I love these eyes. I think they are just, they're smoky and sexy, but do you see what I mean? Like why I consider this a sweater weather eye? It's because they're so soft. Not a lot of harsh lines, like everything just blends really beautifully. And I just think it's so cute and it's so good for this time of season. You can wear this look with like freaking anything, any outfit, any style you're going for. It is, chef's kiss. It's perfect. I love it. This might be a new go-to for me. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have enjoyed another day of Seamus. I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. If you have any requests for the month of Seamus or the month of December or for the Seamus video marathon, leave them in the comments as always. I have slots open still to fill. So let me know what you guys would like to see, what you want to talk about, any idea, something that you'd like to see from me. Leave it down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.